This medieval type hurdy-gurdy has been developed and built by Chris Allen and Sabina Cormillo. It is quite different from other hurdy-gurdies and many problems had to be solved and many questions had to be answered in the process. Up till now, no remnants of a hurdy-gurdy earlier than about 1600 have been found. Here you see a reconstruction of one of the oldest, a Henry III model of about 1600. Some makers of hurdy-gurdies make a hurdy-gurdy based on some paintings of about 1500. But essentially, these are typical instruments of the 16th century in the middle or late Renaissance. Of course, I wish my medieval hurdy-gurdy to be made according to a medieval model. Apart from the organistrum and the box hurdy-gurdy, medieval hurdy-gurdies look like a fiddle with a wheel. Some of them with keys, others without. But always with a long neck. Between 1400 and 1600 the neck tends to shorten and from somewhat later than 1600 hurdy gurdies are constructed without neck, usually. In medieval paintings and sculptures one can see many different models. There are about as many models of medieval hurdy-gurdies as there are paintings, drawings, sculptures, etc. showing in a hurdy-gurdy. It was difficult to make a good choice. After a lengthy discussion with Chris on choosing a prospective medieval specimen from which plans could be derived, we agreed on the hurdy-gurdy shown in the choir of Aachen Cathedral, the Aachener Dom, a stone carving estimated to be from about 1430. Rather late for choosing a medieval model, but essentially it looks like earlier hurdy-gurdies. It seems to be a rather correct image and Chris felt that this model would yield a good instrument. Because of this origin, we call this instrument the Aachen. The main goal was to get a medieval sound. I am convinced that medieval hurdy-gurdies not only looked as medieval fiddles with a wheel, but also were constructed alike and sounded rather much the same. Here you can hear two reconstructions of medieval fiddles, a descant and a tenor. Anyhow, for playing together in a medieval group effectively, the sound of the hurdy-gurdy in the group must blend with the other medieval instruments. So, that's my box hurdy-gurdy, 
also made by Chris Allen and Sabina Gromilo. accompaniment to a singer and mixes perfectly. And I hoped that the new Hurdy Gurdy would be the same as my old Box Hurdy Gurdy, but with a fuller sound. In the next part of this sequence I will tell you more about the details of the construction and layout of this instrument. Anyhow, after more than a year of discussion, Chris and Sabina started to build and they got it ready in summer 2011. The big question was what sound would come out when the instrument was ready. I could hear in my mind how I hoped that it would sound, more or less with the character of medieval fiddles and of my box hurdy gurdy, but with a more full sound. When I played the instrument the first time, it was a revelation. Yes, that's the sound I want for medieval music on Hurdy Gurdy. It proved to be what I hoped for, but just more beautiful. Joy to play medieval music on this instrument. <laughs>